Hey guys, I just wanted to show you all my latest uh, mini project. It's a small desktop size plotter uh, that uses pens or pencils to, to make images. Uh, it can, the images it, make, it makes can be up to one and a half by one and a half inches or 120 by 120 pixels. It, for the, the X and Y axes, it just uses a couple um, laser assemblies from CD drives. They both have stepper motors in them, and the stepper motors are driven by some some disc or uh, boards from old uh, floppy disk drives. the The assembly that moves the pen up and down is uh, used to be the opening mechanism for CD for a CD drive. And so I repurposed that, glued some stuff together, and now I have a pen holder. And that's driven. The motor for that is driven with. Uh, a small board I made with a couple MOSFETs and a relay to change the motor direction. The whole thing is controlled from an old computer. Um, has has Windows 95 on it, but I have it boot straight into DOS. And um, the whole thing, since I can't program microcontrollers, I just had the whole thing run off of uh, Parallel. So it boots up into some software I wrote, Quick Basic. Just gives a few options. There's um, in the options menu. You can change it to Windows or DOS mode. Windows kind of buggy, but um, you can you can change the scale of the image, one through four. Um, depending on the the resolution, it won't let you make it too big. Uh, lower high speed, high speed is also kind of buggy. And BP mode is is for ballpoint pens, where once it puts the pen down, it will move it a step forward and back to help more ink come out. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of printing a file. So you select the file. Oh, crap. Forgot to turn the printer on. Ha <laughs> ha. Just a second. Okay. Have to restart the program. Dorky me. Alright. Printer's on now. Indicator LEDs are on. Okay, actually it's a good time to show off the print last file function. So this moves, asks you to put in a piece of paper, and then there's also a function button on the board you can press to do a lot of actions. And let's see, sometimes you have to restart it a couple times because the, the pen doesn't let ink out right away. Oh, come on. That's a problem with these pens sometimes. That should work. There we go. It just prints a couple test lines to get the ink flowing and then actually goes for the design. On the screen, it shows the rows and columns that it's on. Um, just some simple stuff so you can see about how much done it is. Uh, right now I'm just printing the Hackaday logo. It's a little slow, but it's fun to watch, fun to listen to.
There we go. That's it. Thanks for watching. You can check out a link in the description for a couple of work in progress photos and um, some, some more information on how it was built. Thanks.